Ohioans went to the polls this past week voting yes on issue two, which will legalize and regulate recreational marijuana. So that means if you live in Ohio and are at least 21 years old, you'll be able to have and even grow certain amounts of, mar amounts of marijuana. But what will issue two mean for employers and even employees at certain companies? And can we expect changes when it comes to Ohio workplaces? Well, joining us to go over what to expect in the coming months, we have labor and employment attorney with Green, Haynes & Scambati, Jeff Geisinger. Thank you so much for joining me, Jeff. Thank you for having me. Okay, so there's a lot to uh, unpack here. Um, do you think, and I want to start here, yeah, do you think if employers are, were, were planning ahead of this legalization, ahead of Tuesday's vote, or do you think that maybe it caught them a little bit off guard and they're kind of scrambling to figure out what to do from here? Well, I think a lot of employers already have policies in place where that they prohibit the use of marijuana um, and they have drug po testing policies in place. Mm -hmm. But I would expect to see there uh, be more testing and more formal policies from employers who don't currently have them. Mm. Okay, so then those changes would include what do you think? Because I know that when it comes to drug testing, it could come back and, you know, if you fail the test, that means that you would either not get the job or you would, um, you know, be fired. So what do you think, what, what really could be, you know, done about something like that? Yeah, so you're exactly right. And nothing changes with the legalization of recreational marijuana. Ohio is still an at-will employment state, which means that your employer, if you're not employed pursuant to an individual employment contract, or if you're not employed as part of a union under a collective bargaining agreement, your employer can fire you for any reason or no reason at all. They just can't fire you for an impermissible reason. Mm. And an impermissible reason would be one of those things that we traditionally think of, like race, religion, gender. Uh, being a marijuana user is not a protected class, and so your employer can still fire you for the use of marijuana, even though it's now legal recreationally. Ooh, so do you think they'll be doing a lot of random drug testing now? I would uh, anticipate that there would be more random drug testing, and uh, you may see a response from those who are organized and part of labor unions to make sure that they have some parameters on what those testing uh, would look like, some procedures to say, hey, I can only be tested this much, or this is what random means. Um, but for those who do not have a collective bargaining agreement, you know, their employer is going to decide what that testing looks like. And yeah, what kind of jobs do you think will be doing, you know, more of this random testing? Well, I think you'll see it in every sector of the economy, um, but especially in professional settings, um, I, you know, teachers, uh, firefighters, those type of positions already have testing, but I would uh, expect to see that to continue and, and maybe intensify. And since marijuana is still a Schedule One drug, you know, federally, th does that mean that they, um, each job or each company can enforce whatever rules they choose? Right? Yes, they can okay. enforce whatever rules they choose if there's no uh, contract that puts restraints on it, right? Mm. So if there is a contract, then they're subject to the terms of that contract. But in terms of some statutory obligation, there is none. They can test uh, for marijuana. And I mean, obviously expense is a consideration. You don't want to test everyone every single day. Plus people probably wouldn't want to work there, mm -hmm. but um, that would be the employer's prerogative if that's what they wanted to do. Now on the flip side, medical marijuana has been a thing for a little while. There are people that use it for pain or for whatever it is that they feel that they need it for. So what are the rights of, uh, you know, an employee when it comes to um, med using marijuana medically as opposed to using it like somebody would have a drink after work, like recreationally? Right. Yeah. So there is no distinction for medical use versus recreational use. Mm -hmm. You know, you hear about the Americans with Disabilities Act. Using marijuana is not a reasonable accommodation. And it expressly says in the new law that employers are not required to permit or accommodate the use of marijuana. So just because you're using it for a medical purpose doesn't mean your employer has to tolerate it. They can still terminate you. Wow. And, you know, an employee, an, an employer cannot generally dictate what their employees are going to do off the clock. So what do you think, you know, these these obstacles like or, or, or legal challenges will look like when it comes to, you know, that kind of a thing? What if somebody decides to, and I'm just going to be conversational about mm -hmm. it here, get high mm -hmm. uh, three hours before they're supposed to go into work? Can the employer do something about that? Yeah, the employer, if they know of it, can fire them. Mm -hmm. Now, your employer can't fire you because he thinks you might be using marijuana, because if it turns out that's not true, then you might have a claim under the Americans with Disabilities Act. But it, the burden would be on you to prove your claim, and you'd have to prove, hey, no, he was wrong, and I actually wasn't using marijuana. Yeah. But if it turns out you were using marijuana, then he can fire you. So do you think there's going to be a lot of legal challenges down the road concerning this? 
As it stands right now, uh, probably not, but I would expect to see some movement from the federal government at some point. You're getting to a point where enough states have legalized marijuana that I anticipate the federal government might do something. Um, and when that happens, then there might be more rights for employees. Okay. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us this morning, giving us some insight on this topic and, you know, allowing us to see maybe what we can expect in the, in the future. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me.